Thank you very much, Rajeshri, for that beautiful and graceful performance. I'm sure you did enjoy that performance as much as we all enjoyed seeing that performance. We're hoping that you all had a good lunch. It's time to move on to our next topic for this afternoon, a topic that is discussed in the recent past very frequently within the community, peritoneal dialysis. And to discuss a little more detailed on this topic, we have with us the Chief Nephrologist of Viranchi Hospitals, Hyderabad. Dr. Nayak has performed his first cadaver transplant in the state of AP in the year 1996. He is the Chairman, Communication and Media Committee of International Society for Peritoneal Dialysis. And today he's going to be discussing with us remote monitoring of peritoneal dialysis. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, may I request you all, wherever you are this afternoon, to please give a warm hand of applause for Dr. K.S. Nayak. On to Dr. Nayak. Thank you, uh, Marianne. And uh, I really should congratulate uh, uh, Madam Vasundara and her team for doing this uh, fantastic initiative. It's, it's actually a, a big privilege and a pleasure to be amongst patients rather than the usual uh, uh, conferences we have where we speak to nephrologists because this is more impactful. And today I'm going to speak, people have a wrong impression that dialysis means uh, it's, it's a torture. You have to go to the hospital three times a day uh, and that is hemodialysis actually. But the, the best alternative that you can have is peritoneal dialysis. And uh, we are bringing uh, our application a software, which is uh, probably the only one of its kind in the world. I would like to give you the tip of the iceberg of what it is, what is possible and what we are doing. This is monitoring a patient who are uh, at any a, a corner of the world using telemedicine. So it's my pleasure. I Yeah, uh, so the idea is actually to give a integrated health information to examine, empower, and engage the patient uh, and the doctor in interacting and, and bring them closer to each other with this peritoneal dialysis. I'm one minute. Slide is misbehaving. I'm sorry about that. Yeah. Uh, uh, there are a few uh, uh, terminologies you should understand. Remote monitoring is the use of medical, mobile medical devices to perform routine tests and send the tests such as BP, glucose monitor, pulse oximeters via wireless technology to a transmission hub from where it will go to the concerned people. And in this, you can uh, interchange the word remote monitoring with when you use a mobile device, it's called mobile health. These two are very important, asynchronous and synchronous encounter. Asynchronous means that the data is transmitted to the doctor uh, and, and it is not real time. There might be a gap of 12 hours. So a report can be sent from Massachusetts Institute of Technology in, 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 uh, in Boston to a telepathologist or a teleradiologist in India. And the report is on the table of the doctor there next day. That's called telepathology or teleradiology, uh, uh, where it's famous. It's called uh, asynchronous. And synchronous is real time or almost real time where you have a face to face encounter. So uh, the requirements are. Uh, of, of a remote monitoring system should be, it should be flexible. It should be as synchronous as possible. There should be alarm systems to alert us. They should be modifiable and customizable where the patient uh, is uh, uh, doing it more frequently initially, should generate useful reports, should not be intrusive so that your privacy is lost. And it should be, there are two types of peritoneal dialysis. It can be done manually. A little more expensive is the APD. And uh, there are a lot of regulations uh, brought in called the HIPAA so that the patient and the high tech so that the patient privacy is maintained. And even in India, a new rule called the Disha has been started. And if you breach patient uh, uh, privacy or health records, you will be penalized by a six month uh, uh, jail sentence or five lakh or both in India. And it's higher in the United States. Now ours is a standalone, which means it's not attached to any machine. Uh, so the patient at one end using 2G, 3G, or 4G, at the, it's called the originating site, using uh, the, uh, the internet and a mobile device like this tablet or iOS or an Android system 
it can be a tablet it goes to the nephrologist clinical coordinator which i will be using synonymously with pd nurses nutritionists and social workers and all the information uh, nutrition diet clinical data lab results uh, using and and devices and simple things like glucometer but the most important is the videos of and images and web chat and uh, what we call in peritoneal dialysis uh, the pedal edema exit site bag and and uh, you can see the patient 45 second clippings uh, can be sent as video and and also images these are immediately sent i'll show it through to you how it is done we have published extensively uh, uh, i mean this is just a snapshot but in all international journals such as cj johnson such as peritoneal dialysis international and the harvard business review which is a very very prestigious uh, magazine that comes out of uh, harvard has uh, uh, evaluated and for two days they shadowed me and my team and they came up with this very very laudatory uh, delivering world class healthcare affordably our uh, uh, software has been included in the ihpd international society of peritoneal dialysis guidelines in how to take care of the patient you can see here the reference uh, and uh, basically our our software goes into the cloud and from the cloud we we use the, this is a technical jargon i don't think you need to know about that there are two type one uh, of uh, browser i mean brow uh, application one is for the patient where they they can see only their information and the web browser which is in the pd unit where you can see all the patients so it is uh, as you can see very colorful and very and has interactive pd exchange checklist for compliance audio visual and image capture is the most important and there is a the inbuilt chat facility it is the reverse of skype in skype you have talking and and uh, we and that the connectivity becomes poor you, you so you put off the audio and you uh, i mean uh, the, the 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 video is put off and only the talking goes on here we have talk stop the video i mean a uh, talking and put a chat facility so you can have chat instantaneously and pictures are more important there is a, as i said security and it's both for uh, automated and uh, and uh, manual peritoneal dialysis so this is the patient end where they can see only their uh, uh, information whereas the web web based browser, browser which will be in the hospital or with the doctor or in the pd unit they can see all the uh, data that is needed and this is how the screenshot looks like so the web platform which is the most comprehensive is instant image and audio visual access chat as i said pd investigation progress scheduling of the patient at pd now nurses a uh, clinical coordinator roster so you can assign the patients to the to the pd pd uh, clinical coordinator uh, normally a uh, one clinical coordinator can manage 20 patients but with our system one patient can easily manage up to 100 patients so the co cost even further comes comes down and also a lot of research can be done at the at, at the press of a button you can know what exactly has happened uh, the investigate uh, patients all information is put in the horizontal uh schemata uh, where when they start pd or start the system using the system all the data is there including the video and their and their uh, and their chat and their uh, images and in a, in a vertical fashion whenever there is a problem if they are on pd for 3 to 4 years you can see uh, two years back you want some data you get the data so at the press of a button also you can get this for research purposes uh you, you can do pd rounds it takes about 20 minutes to manage about 150 patients you have secure access to health analytical and research tool you can view manage and progress reschedule and scheduling of the patient and and the clinical coordinator we have a, a very innovative zoom tool i'll show this to you uh, like this is where the catheter comes out from the abdomen and from this you you connect the patient to the pd fluid you have what is this uh, called the pd font times from one font which is kept behind the bag in which the fluid comes and we can anywhere if you can see a 18 roman font that means the patient fluid is clear and you have pedal edema this is a very important aspect uh, you can monitor the patient's treatment you can see here initially the bag was very bad then it starts clearing this unit the patient need not come to the hospital at all and ultimately you can see the times roman font that means the patient is it's cleared of infection and a lot of data now we have come one full circle and pedal edema is now considered one strong clinical sign which is neglected all over the world we have found that if you manage pedal edema properly you can have prevent the patient from getting into cardiac problem what we call heart failure with reserved ejection fraction progressing to heart failure with uh, with with a failed heart with the ejection fraction 
uh, get, uh, going down and they go into cardiac failure. This is very important uh, because, because more patients die due to cardiovascular causes, due to heart-related causes among, among patients with renal, renal failure than due to end-stage renal disease. So it's very important that we have added this fetal edema. This is something that nobody really has. We are the first ones and probably the only ones who have stressed on this. We have used extensively, we have used machine learning and artificial intelligence in, in, in devising this. And also quality of life, which is a very, very neglected uh, aspect of uh, peritoneal dialysis or people with end-stage renal disease. At the end of the, of, of the software, we have this questionnaire where physical health and mental health, you can see here clearly, patient is about a thousand kilometers away. You can see that it's dipping down the physical health and then here the mental health. At the same time, we change the prescription and, and do some medical, I mean, prescription change. You can see it's back to normal. Uh, this is how the physician rounds. You can see here the three colors. Green means patient is okay. Orange, red means there's a very immediate attention needed. And once that is addressed, you get a, a full green circle there. That means the rounds are over. So it can be used. This is 11 steps guided to improve compliance and avoid mistakes. They can skip it if they are familiar with this, but to make sure that the PD bag strength and everything is normal. You can have clearly guided PD exchange for both manual and uh, automated PD. Lab data, everything is added so that you can add buttons. You can you can see this. This is the chat that is happening between a patient and me, uh, which is instantaneous and uh, and synchronous. Then you have the uh, the photographs. You have photographs for exit site, for for the bag, for pedal edema, and for any other area of interest. 45 second clap clips of the video. And if you want repeat ones, you can keep telling from the web chat, lift up the character a little bit and, and, and send me one video. So we can have any number of videos. They have kept it at 45 seconds so that uh, the size of the video does not increase. So I will show you a, this video so that you get an idea what it is. This is a husband taking care of his wife, manual PD. Now he's gone to, onto his iPad. You can use a tablet also. He goes to manual PD. He takes a photograph of the exit side. And yes, I have done. And, and then the bag, you can see the bag is like a convex lens. You can see clearly. This is sent to the PD center, our PD center. This is a web browser. That was a patient browser. Here you can see everybody. So you can see that there's a little bit of a issue that he has raised. And he goes to images. And you can see it's already come. And you've got the... If you saw the zoom tool, you can clearly see. A close up. This is a web chat they're having with the patient, and this, this is all the other. This is the SF36 quality of life. So, this can be done on the mobile phone also. All the aspects are there on the mobile phone. And uh, this has been patented in India and, and in the United States. So it's an amazing uh, product which has received patents. And uh, uh, in 2000, as back as long back as 2014 in Madrid, in Spain, at the International Society of Peritoneal Dialysis, our annual meeting, I did a symposium on telemedicine. And there was a patient in Hyderabad, in Masab Tank, who did his exchange there. And he was on the, uh, on the conference uh, uh, podium. And he interacted with the patient. They were amazed. They were amazed at the at, at the interaction that we had, and he sent his 45 second clips onto the uh, onto the conference podium. The, uh, uh, to tell you the impact of this, the, can, most of you would have heard of uh, Sundarbans. Sundarbans are islands, uh, small islands which are waterlogged. And this patient of mine in a staying in a hut has a solar uh, panel. He charges his phone and his all his devices, including his uh, uh, in, the 
uh, software that he needs to communicate with me and he is in constant touch though he doesn't have electricity he uses the solar panel and he takes care of himself on peritoneal dialysis so it's uh, uh, in fact the american journal of kidney diseases uh, during the covid uh, strongly suggested that our system be used for their patients and we actually have converted hemodialysis patients to peritoneal dialysis using this software and also we have a, a we have one of the few centers who start peritoneal dialysis on the day we put the catheter not wait for 14 days put the catheter and we have the expertise to do that we are one of the three or four centers in the world and we use the software also uh the financial implication peritoneal dialysis is the last couple of slide uh is very very uh, uh economical compared to hemodialysis so much so that even united states is saying that we cannot afford a hemodialysis if pd share of total dialysis in us was increased from present 10 i mean 8% to now it's 10% to if it is increased by 5% which remote monitoring can help they would save about 1.1 billion dollars over the next 5 years we have done a cost saving analysis we can save about per patient about equivalent of 5000 dollars per per year if we use remote monitoring so the last slide you can uh, christmas is nearing imagine being on hemodialysis on the 24th of december santa claus is having his hemodialysis and he can't distribute gifts this is what hemodial how regimentalized and strict uh, hemodialysis is whereas this is tony ward who's doing his dialysis on the tip of uh, uh, at the uh, mount everest and he can be in touch with his doctor and so can anybody who's on uh, yacht in in the atlantic so thank you very much and uh, and and thank you for giving me this opportunity to introduce you to this uh, remote monitor thank you thank you very much um, dr nayak for taking us through that presentation